Hey guys, we're going to do how to find secant, cosecant, and cotangent now from the unit circle. Um, the examples we are going to go over are going to be, so we're going to do cotangent, secant, and cosecant for every single one of these. So 300 degrees, 3 pi over 4, pi over 6, negative pi over 3, and negative 90 degrees. These are all going to hinge on the fact that, because right, we know how to find cosine, sine, and tangent. Now, we did that in the previous videos, but cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent or cosine over sine. So we're going to use that fact. We're going to use that secant is 1 over cosine. In other words, it's the reciprocal of cosine. And that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find, find sine, cosine, and tangent, and we're going to flip them okay, to find their reciprocal identities. So let's get going. So our first one, cotangent, secant, and cosecant of 300. Let's find all the information we need about 300. Here's 300 right here. Okay. So cotangent of 300 is equal to, so tangent is sine over cosine, or x over y. So cotangent is going to be x over y secant, um, which is the opposite of cosine, which is x. Secant is going to be 1 over x, and cosecant is going to be 1 over y. In other words, we're looking for reciprocals now. These are reciprocal identities. So cotangent of 300 is x over y. So that's 1 half over, so x over y, negative root sorry, negative 3 root 2, so that's 1 half times the reciprocal, oh, that was supposed to be a 2, of negative 2 over root 3. These guys clear, so it's negative 1 over root 3. If you rationalize the denominator, that's negative root 3 over 3. So there's the cotangent. Secant. So secant is the opposite of cosine, or it's the reciprocal of cosine. So the cosine of 300, so it's the opposite of the cosine of 300. So the cosine of 300, which is the x value, is 1 half. So it's 1 over 1 half, which is equal to 2. We just flip it. Cosine of 300 was 1 half, so secant is 2. Cosecant of 300. Now this is 1 over sine of 300. Sine of 300 is negative root 3 over 2. So flip it. So this would be negative 2 over root 3. Alright, so that's all we do. We find sine, cosine, and tangent, and we flip them, okay, because these are reciprocal. So we're going to keep doing that, because this will also help us with our sine, cosine, and tangent. So now we want to find all these guys for 3 pi over 4. Let's find 3 pi over 4. Where are we? There we are, right there. Here's 3 pi over 4, and all the information for 3 pi over 4. So cotangent of 3 pi over 4 is equal to x over y. Secant is 1 over cosine, so that's 1 over x. Cosecant is 1 over sine, so that's 1 over y. In other words, flip it. Flip the x, flip the y, and then cotangent is x over y. So x, negative root 2 over 2 over y, which is root 2 over 2. Anything divided by itself is 1, but this is negative thing divided by a positive thing. So that's going to be negative 1. Um, let's see, the secant of 3 pi over 4 is equal to 1 over cosine of 3 pi over 4, which is the opposite. So cosine, which is the x, is negative root 2 over 2. So 1 over that, that would still be negative 2 over root 2. Okay, cosecant, 3 pi over 4, that's 1 over sine, or find sine and flip it. So find sine, root 2 over 2, flip it, 2 over root 2. 
Okay, so again, reciprocal identities. All right, let's look at another angle. Let's look at pi over 6 now. So all the information for pi over 6 is right here. Cotangent is x over y. Secant is 1 over x. Cosecant is 1 over y, or the opposites. So cotangent of pi over 6 is equal to x over y. Root 3 over 2 over 1 half. Root 3 over 2 multiplied by its reciprocal. Cancel, cancel. So root 3. So cotangent of pi over 6 is root 3. Secant of pi over 6 pi over 6 is equal to 1 over the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate is root 3 over 2, so flip it. That's 2 over root 3, cosecant. Cosecant of pi over 6. Cosecant is going to be 1 over y. 1 over y, which is 1 half. Flip it, 2. Okay. Secant is the opposite of cosine, so find the cosine and flip it. Cosecant is the opposite of sine. Find the sine and flip it. Cotangent is the opposite of tangent. Find the tangent and flip it. Okay. Remember, secant and cosine correspond with the x value. Sine and cosecant correspond with the y value. That's why we're using these points over here. So another angle, let's look at a negative angle now. Let's look at negative pi over 3. So positive pi over 3 is here, which means negative pi over 3 is going to be here. It's the exact reflection over the x-axis. Okay. So cotangent, again, is x over y. Secant is 1 over cosine, and cosine corresponds to x. Cosecant is 1 over sine, and sine corresponds to the y-coordinate. So cotangent at negative pi over 3, which is equivalent to the cotangent of 5 pi over 3. These are the same. So that's going to be x over y. So that's 1 half over negative root 3 over 2, right? x over y. So once again, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That's a 2. That's a root 3. Cancel, cancel. So negative 1 over root 3. 3 um, secant of negative pi over 3 is equal to 1 over the cosine. The cosine is 1 half. So 1 over the cosine, which just means flip it around. The cosecant is 1 over sine. Oops, cosecant and pi over 3, which is 1 over sine or 1 over the y coordinate. Negative 3, negative root 3 over 2. 1 over anything just means flip it, so negative 2 over root 3, but the sign gets to stay the same. All right, so cotangent, secant, and cosecant using the unit circle of a negative angle and how we did that. Let's examine now negative 90, and I believe this is our last one. All right, so positive 90, if we went counterclockwise, would get us here, but negative 90, if we go clockwise, and that'll get us here. So this here is all the information for negative 90 degrees. Let me see something really interesting right now. So cotangent of negative 90 degrees is equal to, so again, cotangent is the x-coordinate over the y-coordinate. Secant is 1 over cosine, so 1 over x. Cosecant is 1 over sine, so that's 1 over y. So cotangent is x over y. So cotangent is 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. Okay, so the cotangent at negative 90 degrees is 0. So there's 0 slope. Sorry. The, the cotangent is not the slope. It's the reciprocal of the slope. So cotangent of negative 90 is 0. Secant of negative 90 is going to give us, well, secant is 1 over x or 1 over cosine, so that's 1 over 0. Oh no, what happens? We have 0 in the denominator. 0 in the denominator is bad. This is undefined. 
Why is it undefined? Because we can't divide by zero. So secant of negative 90 is actually undefined. We don't, we, we, we can't say what it is. We don't know. Because that's the interesting thing. What about cosecant though of negative 90? So cosecant is cosecant is 1 over y. So 1 over, what's the y coordinate? Negative 1. 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So the cosecant of negative 90 is negative 1. So we're defined here, we're just not defined for secant, right? Because you can't define, you cannot divide by 0. So I hope that video um, helped you guys find, because we already found sine, cosine, and tangent in a previous video. Uh, this video was all about finding cotangent, cosecant, and secant, which are the reciprocal identities of sine, cosine, and tangent. So just another example of how powerful the unit circle is. Remember, you can use it for anything. It's basically like the go-to diagram of trigonometry. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I'll see you guys in a future video.